Hey guys, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit different than our usual because we're going to be exploring how to access your MySD42 account. Now the MySD42 account has uh, all of the different Microsoft Office software such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. But it's also where you can access your school district email. Bet you didn't know you had one of those. And it's where you're going to access Microsoft Teams, which several, several of your teachers might be using for some of their lessons in Term 3. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up uh, your preferred internet browser. I'm using Edge here, who wouldn't? Uh, but you're welcome to use Chrome, <clears throat> Firefox, or even Safari if you would prefer. The next thing I'm going to do is up here in the address bar, I'm going to type in me.sd42.ca, me.sd42.ca, and I can hit enter, and it's going to bring us to this sign-in page. Now, if any of you have spent any time down in the tech lab, this page might look familiar, but if not, here is how we sign in using your district ID. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your student number. If you're unsure of your student number, it's on your classroom schedule, um, and uh, or worst case scenario, you can email your TA and they would be happy to get the, uh, your student number to you. And uh, for me, I'm going to put in my first name underscore last name. That's what, how staff get in. But you're going to do, <clears throat> you're going to put in your student number. The next thing you're going to do once you type that in is you're going to hit the tab key. Now the tab key is on the left side of the keyboard right above the caps lock. So I'm going to hit tab and it's going to autofill the rest of the login with that. Then I'm going to type in my district password. Uh, your password will be whatever you use for the Wi-Fi. It's the same password you use to print in the library or log in down in the tech lab. If you're unsure, once again, email your TA and we can get that sorted out for you. And then I'm going to click sign in. I uh, don't want to save that. It's going to ask me if I want to stay signed in. It doesn't matter what you click. It's not going to save no matter what. So if I click yes, it won't make any difference. And then it's going to load up this page right here. Okay. Um, yours will look a little bit different than mine. But what we're going to see over here is you're going to see a variety of different apps, applications that you have access to. There's going to be your email. Uh, you got your OneDrive cloud storage. I think you guys get maybe... 100 gigabytes of cloud storage is a fair amount. And then you have your variety of different Microsoft apps. If you click the install button, you can install the actual apps to your computer, or you can use the cloud versions of the apps up here. But what I'm going to open up right now is Microsoft Teams. Now, your teachers may or may not have set up a team classroom. It depends on uh, what they're wanting to do. But I do use Teams for my connection students as well as my game design students. So if I click on Teams, it's going to open up the Microsoft Teams app. And then you can click on the variety of different teams you are part of. Okay? And uh, that's all. So uh, hopefully we will see you all soon. Take care now.